Hi, this is Brandon Mahan, and we're gonna and Greg Delanini and Raul Gomez, and we're gonna do the run, roll, run camera analysis. So we're starting off with framing, and so the framing in the movie is follows the basic rules of composition. Uh, we do see sudden changes between shot type and quality, and sometimes. Like, sometimes we would see an animation sequence and also a shot where it's, like, TV quality. Very, kind of grainy. Um, next, uh, we also, from this frame, we can relate it to game theory because each time Lola fails to get man the money he needs, the whole level starts over again. And here's some pictures of framing. So, on the first one, we have the animation sequences. And then we have a chase scene, and here is the uh, sequence where it's like TV grainy quality. And so we have a quick camera movement of her just running in the scene. Um, and let me go back to our words. Um, each shot is um, very smooth, as you notice in the picture. All the running shots are smooth, you notice that too. Very few shots draw attention to themselves because of the smoothness. Shots keep pacing of film. Yes. And this relates to game theory because Lola only has a short time to save Manny. And time is very important. So here again we see her. <laughs> Don't listen to Joey Katoot, he's a, a ginger. That was going well. Um, throughout the film, there are several shots that draw attention to themselves. This, the first would be this 360 jerky spin right here. Uh, it's it's really draws attention to itself because it. An animated dude even pulls in the shot. I know that might sound weird, but an animated guy pops out and pulls the shot in. Um, other shots that kind of like bring attention to themselves are like um, are shots that like switch back and forth between like the phone and the bag, which are both red, and so that kind of follows a cool little pattern there. Um, another shot that draws attention to himself to itself is this one of Manny waiting for Lola to get there, even though she hasn't, doesn't have the money, and has the clock showing the time before Manny's gonna go in and rob the store. Um, the smoothness of the camera work doesn't really draw attention to itself, though, because it's, it's really, it's, it's smooth. It's, it's, it's good. Shots by the director. Shots from the director. Majority of these shots are clean, and some only few of them call attention to themselves. And in one section, an animated man pulls in a three six pulls in a shot that turns into a three hundred sixty degree rotating shot around ma around a uh, Lola. This relates to game theory because these shots people flash. And Lola must select a boss to f to f to face to defeat the the game and get the money. Okay. Here's some of the shots. So this was the animated man pulling in the 360D truck. This is the 360-degree truck around Lola. It's very jerky. And then here's an animated sequence of her running down the stairs. Um, so the game theory relates to the camera movement. And um, because in the game, you get a new life. And as we watch this movie, we see um, Lola gaining a new life each time. And she gets to retry to get the money and save Manny's life. And each time, she learns how to improve on each time. And um, we just want to say um, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a nice day.